Hello everyone, and so welcome back. Last time we talked about the importance of a bunch of factors like taking your B vitamins, getting good sleep, keeping your insulin levels in check, all things that can improve your brain function and prevent um, your cognitive decline down the road. And these are things that you can do right now to, to um, start improving brain function due to their connection to the science of reducing beta amyloid and reducing the neuropathology that's associated, right? Taking the cause out and um, reducing your risk. And so these are all the things, like taking a B-complex, right? If you're deficient in B12, as I alluded to, we know that increases the risk. Um, keeping insulin levels in check, so reducing your refined carbs. We know high levels of insulin and insulin resistance, a big risk factor for not only the, the development of type 2 diabetes, but also for Alzheimer's. And um, we also talked about getting good sleep. We know that that's when the toxins um, flush out, right? And that's when you, yeah, you flush out your beta amyloid and you also make less of it. And that's when your insulin sensitivity improves as well. You reduce cra cravings for unhealthy food options and you reduce the risk of all other types of neurocognitive diseases. And sleep greatly improves your brain function. That's when you consolidate your short-term to long-term memory. That's when you remove the plaques, as I mentioned. And that's also when you dream, which is pretty cool. All the great ideas come during your dreams. So if you want to improve your sleep, um, check the link below. I will leave my sleep optimization course that I've created personally. I think that's going to really help you. Along with these three things that you can already do, or four, take your B vitamins, reduce refined carbs, and get good sleep. Yeah, three. Um, you would also want to um, to do to do another thing, and that is check your genetics, because genetics is a big factor for poor cognition. Um, now you're not in you're not your genes don't control you. So you so your fate is not governed by your genetics completely. There are things that you can do, such as the nutrition, to change right your fate but but the your gene specifically the apoe4 gene is huge for the development of cognitive decline down the road and you can either have zero copies of this gene one copy of this gene or two copies of this gene and the more copies of this gene you have the bigger your risk in fact if you have two copies of the apoe4 gene your risk can increase by up to like 90 percent nine zero so you're pretty much almost guaranteed to get it right well wrong because you can do lifestyle hacks to reduce your risk. And then if you have no copies, your risk is very, very low, like less than 10%. If you have one copy, it's around 30%, right? Maybe like 25 to 30%. And if you have two copies, it can go as up to as high as 90%. So you're literally tripling your risk or something um, between one copy and two copies. Um, so... We talked about a lot of things that you can do, such as good nutrition, taking your B vitamins to keep homocysteine levels in check, reducing your refined carbs to keep insulin in check and getting good sleep. All of those will help mitigate the risk, even if you have crappy genes, right? And APOE4 genes are not the only ones. They're the biggest factors. There's other ones that are way, way, way less, like the APP gene, for example, and some other like familial genes. But... Um, this one is the most important one. And so get checked. And you can do 23andMe, for example. Um, you might as well do that for, you know, to know who your ancestors are. And there, there was an approved test in 2017. The FDA approved a test that was actually effective for detecting the Alzheimer variants. Um, so 23andMe uses SNP polymorphisms, which detect variations in different genes, in this case, the APOE gene. So it's actually, there's now a kit that was approved in 2017 by the FDA that's actually effective um, to detect Alzheimer's. Because previously there was a 15% failure rate, but now um, 23andMe actually sells a kit. And so you can actually check that. And I think it's important to check because we'll talk about this in the future, but your nutrition is going to be different depending on whether you have two copies of the APOE4 gene, increasing your, your risk substantially, or zero copies. <laughs> one, of those, um, um, one of those changes in nutrition is actually the use of coconut oil, which is one of my 
favors, but if you have two copies of the APOE4 gene, maybe not the best option. So um, um, that's what's good to know your status. Um, okay. I mean, the chances of you having two copies of the APOE4 gene are only 2 to 3%, but it's still good to know. And that's going to influence specifically your nutrition that we'll talk about in the future videos. Okay. Um, and so regardless of your APOE4 status, the things that I previously mentioned are good for, for all types of gene variants to reduce the risk of Alzheimer's. So just taking a big complex, reducing refined carbs and getting good sleep. So keep on doing those things. And as a fourth thing, as part of this Alzheimer playlist or brain optimization playlist, let's call it that, um, it's good to get um, tested. If you're really young, you don't have to, but um, maybe if you're above 45, and I would say for anybody, it's good for prevention. So you know how to optimize your nutrition. It's good to know the type of, um, of variant that you have of the APOE4 gene, because that's a gene that really, really affects your risk. And so that's the one you really want to know, as well as some of the other less common ones that I will leave in the description below, such as the APP gene and some of the other ones as well that are, uh, that are not as big of a role as the APOE4 gene. All right, so I will leave those other variants below that you can also test in that same test that you're, gonna, that you're going to, to perform on yourself to, um, to, the know, to know your ge genetics. All right, so I hope you find this video helpful and I will see you in the next one. Take care, bye.